Barbecue is exclusive here at HSN, and they heard you. You said we love cast iron. We want it nonstick. How about we never want to season it, ever? Not even when we first get it home. You don't have to season it. You can put it in the dishwasher. You can put it in the oven up to 500 degrees and beautiful colors as well. This is that great sweet spot, the 10 inch. It even has a great little handle here so you can lift it up because this is real cast iron. <laughs> here are your colors. This is the teal. That's that rose. Look at that. It looks like rose gold. We have black. There's the blue. It's almost like a purple imperial blue. There is the Pantone color of the year. How about that coral? There's your plum. We have it in silver. Oh, I'm, you know what, the one I called rose, that's taupe. It looks like a rose gold. There's your silver, there is your red, and then there is your really pretty rose. $13.32 to get it home. Now, I have to say, for $39.95, that would be a steal. For cast iron, you never have to season. You can put it in the dishwasher, never rusts. But we added, for our today's special, and only for today, a $40 magnetic trivet. Have you ever seen anything <laughs> so beautiful? And why magnetic? Because when you put your cast iron skillet right on there, you can take it straight from exactly. the oven or the stove onto your table. An amazing value for today, $39.95. I'm going to show you the value just broken down for you. It's a $75.99 value for the price of the trivet. In fact, for four cents less than the price of the <laughs> trivet, we are giving you the best non-stick cast iron fry pan you will ever use. Mark Gill is here cooking Hello. up a storm. Hello, cooking up a storm. Mark, How are you? Welcome. I'm doing well. Which side would it be best for me to be on? I want to hang out over here for now. Wherever the plate and the fork is. Wherever the plate and the food is. That's where we'll find her. I love that. Now listen, we have almost an unlimited budget for food here at the network. So why in the world would I start this off with a 15 cent egg, right? Because it's the 15 cent egg that will absolutely embarrass a cast iron pan. Now I'm going to say this again, and anybody that wants to say it with me, go ahead, because we don't get to say it very often. Non-stick cast iron cookware that goes in the dishwasher. Non this is real. cast <laughs> iron, real cast iron that goes in the dishwasher. Exactly. And you didn't have any, you didn't put oil in that? Absolutely not. Just... In fact, we're going to talk about a lot of Holy our non-stick stuff today, and we're going to start it off early. And when I say non-stick, I'm not kidding. This is non-stick. You can you... scrub this, rub this, put it in the dishwasher, do whatever you want. Uh, to your point, this this is everything that you love about cast iron, the reason we've used it for 3,000 years, right? It's tried and true cookware, but we all know that when that, uh, when that non-stick stuff came out in the early 80s, right. we all went nuts because sure. it was so easy to clean, right? Yeah. right? But we all lost something. We lost that extra dimension in cooking, that incredible crust, those amazing uh. sears, that unbelievable and unmistakable taste of food that's cooked in cast iron. So I'll tell you what, let me get this basting in butter for just a second. You see what we did here with the cheese, right? Now, I just put that right in. I'm gonna show you a really cool way to enjoy your next burrito or enchilada. Go ahead and crisp that guy up, and instead of loading it with cheese, no. why not <gasps> surround it with cheese, right? This is the way that I what? love to do it, you guys. So let's go ahead and we'll do our Mark, enchilada like burrito, <laughs> whatever you want. Now, that is nice and crispy, oh and we're gonna go gosh. ahead and finish that off with a little bit of sour cream. Oh, it smells right incredible. Like that. And where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? There it is. Okay, I am not a very good sous chef, am goodies. I? I'm just there watching is, you guys. my mouth open. That fast and that easy is what we're talking about, okay? Now, wow. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is show it's, you. It's yep. just, it, I mean, it, it's, it's nonstick. Like, it's really that pan. Exactly. Now, this is not something you see with cast iron very Ooh. often. Normally, this now has to be reseasoned. It's got to go back in the oven. You got to put olive oil on it, do whatever it is you got to do. But with ours, and the reason that 50,000 of you said yes when we launched this earlier in the year and left more four and five star reviews than I've ever seen on any product, this doesn't stink. Right, and truly, <laughs> and one of the questions that we get over and over again, so I just want to clarify this, and I'll say this a few times, you don't ever have to season no, this cast iron skillet ever, ever. It's 10 inches. It even has that nice little handle so that you can lift it because, of course, it's heavy. Absolutely. So it really, but you it's can real use deal. this one on glass top, ceramic, any of your... Induction, uh, anything induction. like that. Now, have a look here. If you're used to working with cast iron, if you've done it in the past, or if you've got a grandmother that's wrapped you on the knuckles, when you put red wine, citrus, no. or anything in that pan that's going to go ahead and tear that seasoning off because that's exactly what's going to happen. So let me walk you through a really quick 
easy, fun sauce to make for your steaks. Take a little bit of red wine. We're gonna take some green onions. We're gonna take a little bit of garlic, just like that. And we'll go ahead and we'll get these greening up. I love it. Mm. And just for fun, we want this to be a little bit thicker. So let me go ahead and add a little bit of flour and we're just gonna give it a stir. Now that's gonna thicken. It's gonna pull out all of those flavors, which is really cool. But here's what I want you to see that's brand new with our cast iron this year and yes. I love it. You ready for this? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna return my steaks to the pan mm. just like this. And if you're somebody that loves the wow factor at dinner time and loves that ooh from the, you know, your guests and your crowd and stuff, mm. watch what we're gonna do here, okay? Now that trivet that we talked about at the beginning of the show is just the handiest gosh darn thing because you don't have to have that third hand and extra help or watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this to the trivet, which is made of solid wood and magnetized and just like that. What? I don't have to mess around with it, no muss, no fuss. I'm gonna walk over here to the that? table and set it down and if you love serving table side, <laughs> This is the way to do it, Shannon. Isn't it, that beautiful? That's incredible. Looks beautiful. And then when everyone's done eating, you can just put that in the dishwasher and nothing will scratch off. The, exactly. You don't have to re-season it later. The outside is not just a, it's not just like a painted coating. Right. You don't have to worry about that well, either. Well, let, uh, let me tell you a little bit about cast iron, uh, how it works, why it works. And the reason it's perfect for so many dishes like the frying that were, by the way. My favorite. Uh, one of the trending dishes right now that's everywhere, what? Nashville hot chicken, and I'm gonna make this for you. Uh -oh. You got it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna bring a couple of pans over All here, right. and we'll get a few things started. There we go. Now listen, let me give you a little bit of a tip on searing, okay? The oil and the butter you use on searing can make a big difference because they have different smoke points, okay? Sure. If you're gonna try and sear something like we're gonna do here in the pan to put in the oven, which by the way, 500, 550 degrees, you're fine, whether it's gonna be on a, a barbecue or an, uh, you know, a burner or a broiler. That's sure. the word I'm looking for. Oh, so you <laughs> can even put this in the, under a broiler. Exactly. Okay. Remember, this is cast iron. When they make cast iron, they go ahead and they break a sand mold around the iron. So everything's unique and individual. And the reason you have to season these pans is simply because you want to fill those hills and valleys and dips and doodles that that uh, uh, you know, creation of the pan uh, starts to create. Okay. So like I said, if you want a really beautiful sear, you don't have to use butter and oil in our pans, period. But if you're a fan of it, what I suggest, instead of putting it in naked like we did here, if you want to go ahead and play with oils and play with butters, I suggest that if you're going to do a sear, go a little bit higher up into like butters, canola oils, or the best thing to use is clarified butter or oh, ghee. Oh, like ghee. Exactly. Ah, okay. With ghee, you can actually, even with cast iron pans, which hold the heat and disperse heat better than anything, you can actually control the level of sear that you're going to get, which I find incredible. That's amazing. I did notice, speaking of even heating, I mm -hmm. noticed that none of your pans are on super duper high. Right. Cast iron loves medium, a couple of tips above, a couple of ticks below. You're just going to kind of get to know your own pan. Okay. You know what I mean? So uh, what did we just like, pull out of here? I can't even remember that now. A, What's that? that? Is that a pancake? <laughs> We're actually gonna make crepes in a cast iron pan. Like I said, we guys, we keep kind of going and going and going here. We got lots yeah. of stuff working. Is this your version of chicken and waffles? Like Over a there, hot you guys, chicken and crepes? I'm gonna make. And so we'll be... <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe you've heard of this, uh, this trend out there lately, Nashville hot chicken. I'm gonna show you how to make it mm. yourself, okay? Let's go ahead and get some broccoli in here, just like that, we'll get, uh, we'll get some colors popping. And over the side here, I wanna get another dish started. Um, on our cooking channel online, uh, we put up lots of recipes, lots of fun. And I yeah. Something. We do lots of grilling and barbecuing, and my most, or one of my most viewed recipes is for my pork belly pastrami black Angus hamburger. So I'm gonna go ahead. Say that again, pork <laughs> belly pastrami black Angus hamburger. Yes, ma'am. Oh, so well, what that yeah. means to me is all of the things that you love about uh, grilling, you can do here as well. I'm gonna walk over here, okay. so I'm gonna keep an eye on my crepe. By the way, uh, this is where one of the places that's silicone uh, types of utensils really does shine. I know okay. we've got a beautiful we set do. here. We do, yeah, we have a great set. In fact, we, um, we'll pull that up for you on the side. I just wanna make sure that I get the right colors. It is, um, it has a slotted spatula, a fork, solid spoon spatula, utensil rest. Oh, I like those utensil rests. <laughs> we have it in black, red, or turquoise. Those Love are it. available. That's really pretty. So we're starting to get our char, char on the shrimp here, which I All really right. like. We're starting to get our sear on the pork. And I'm gonna explain to you now, just while everything's going here, one of the big differences between cooking with cast iron and cooking with almost anything else, yeah. Yeah. Cast iron has that weight and it has that texture. When we switched to that glass bottom, like ceramic, whatever that kind of stuff is, type of cookware that's really easy to clean, yeah. we lost that texture dimension of cooking. When you go to your favorite steak or chop house, the last thing they're gonna tell you is, hey man, we're cooking everything on aluminum. 
<laughs> they're going to say to you, we've got big, heavy cast iron pans and uh. grill plates that we're using, and that's the way we like to do it. So to be able to recreate that in your own home without the rubbing, the scrubbing, the reseasoning, all of the hassle that you have to go through, that's what I love about this. Now, let's go back to our crepe here for a second, okay? And I'll say it again, this is not something you'd normally see in a cast iron pan. And I'm gonna make it worse. I'm gonna go ahead oh and put my a little goodness. sugar, and I'm gonna put a little bit of chocolate. And not just there, I'm gonna get this to join the crepe up front. Now have a look here, you wanna talk nonstick? I'm gonna remind everybody who's ever worked with this, this is oh. cast iron. Oh, and it is not sticky. Goodness. But Shannon, before we move on here, this is what I really want everybody to see. Come back to the pan here. I'm just gonna wipe it out. I'm not just gonna wipe it out. I'm gonna clean it with caramel and chocolate. And if you've ever worked with cast iron, you're looking at this going, that large man is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so watch this, you guys. This is what I love. This is what it's all about. This is what no other cast iron can do. This is why there's so many four and five star reviews that I can't even deal with it. That is the kind of cleanup wow. you're looking at. And if you miss a little bit, put it in the sink. We don't mind at all. Incredible, <laughs> and you can get yours today. This is the only day that we will have this price. You're not only getting the best cast iron that you never have to season, that you can throw in the dishwasher exactly. and the oven. You're also getting a $40 all wood trivet that has magnetic. Watch this, it's beautiful, right? right? But oh, it's not going to budge it. when you put you your again, new too. fry pan on it. So here's your value. You've got the fry pan, which you can't find anywhere, even here at HSN for that price. That's but it. Okay. Um, and you've got the $40 trivet, $75.99 just for today and just while supplies last $39.95. You can get it home for $13.32. What an incredible gift this would make for somebody. Absolutely. We've got great colors as well, which I got to say, my cast iron skillet that I got <laughs> years and years ago didn't have colors. That's a beautiful teal. We'll show you all of the colors there along the side. We've got silver. We've got um, teal. Let's see. You know what? Here, let's let's show you over sure, here because we'll you've never seen anything like searing. it. Um, here is the teal. There's the taupe. We have black. If you just want classic, that's what mine is, of course. There's your blue, which is kind of an imperial blue, almost like a deep purple. Pantone color of the year. Coral. Plum. There's your silver, red, and rose. Isn't that beautiful? Now, don't let the rose fool you. Really strong cast iron that could definitely do some damage, but you can't do damage <laughs> to the cast iron. You're not gonna hurt the cast iron. No. This is cast iron. No. And not only do we make it nonstick, not only do we make it dishwasher safe, not only do we make it durable and be the pan that you're, you know, everyone's gonna fight over when it's all done like we do for cast iron pans, but we actually gave you some color with it. So follow me here to this pork loin, because I want you to see this, okay? When I keep talking about the dimension of cooking that we're missing, have a look here, you guys, and this is what's really special. It's this. <gasps> this is what we missed. This is what went away, is that textured, unbelievable crust that starts to form when you sear these, uh, the, the, these steaks and chops. So here's what we're going to do. We keep talking about the oven. Oven safe up to 500, 550 degrees. Nice holiday uh, colors here. We've got some cranberries Ooh. and some Brussels sprouts. So let's go ahead, Shannon. We're going to follow me to the oven. Then I'm going to come back and tell you about a couple of other things i got going on the stove top here. And we're going to look at that Nashville hot chicken. So All right. have a peek mm -hmm. here. I'm going to walk back. I'm trying to hold everything, including the cookbook. <laughs> My goodness. All now, right. Remember uh, that trivet that we have. And I'm going to take this opportunity to grab another dish out of here because this one's special. I love Ooh. this. If you're a bread pudding fan and you love baking, yep. nothing is going to give you the type of heat retention, the type of heat conductivity as cast iron. And that trivet means that you can get it right over to that table and serve it without worrying about your countertop or your tables. Isn't that great? That's incredible. I'm and it, that trivet here. is wherever you need it to be. All right, hold on a second. I gotta get a look at this. What did you put on this? <gasps> Chocolate chips. Isn't and that pretty? That looks amazing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get so my pastrami going in there. So you were able to put it in the oven, so you can right. put this right on the stovetop, of course. Sorry, lots of no, hey, I'm all um, over the place. What's going you, on here? You get all around. You, you do this. <laughs> this um, is the best. And it, this will cook anything. So you've you've used the silicone cookware, right. but if you used a metal on it, it's not gonna, it's you know, cast gonna iron. It. Uh, it's cast, cast iron. iron. Right? Now, how about Real cast iron that also has nonstick. How is this cast iron different and it doesn't need seasoning? So at the molecular level, you guys, is where we infused our cast iron's nonstick properties. Not a coating that's gonna cray, you know, uh, flake off and chip off. PTF uh, free PFOAs, we don't have to worry about any of that because it's cast iron. Okay. And by the way, what you're seeing in this pan is sugar. Have you ever seen a candy maker use cast iron? iron, 
Nope. Oh. They use copper because of the way that it cleans. Well, you don't have to worry about that now. So while this finishes, and while this finishes, let's come on over here and show you one of my most oh my favorite gosh. dishes in the whole world, and that's Nashville hot chicken. My family and I traveled, actually, to Nashville this summer just to go to that famous Hattie place that everybody hears about. So let me tell you a bit about this, okay? When you make the breading itself, mm -hmm. you start with a little bit of heat because you add some cayenne. And then when you make the egg wash, you add a little bit more heat because you put some hot sauce in. But here's where the magic happens, Shannon. Watch this. I'm going to take some of the oil that we use to cook this chicken, yes. which is now infused with the cayenne that was in ah, the breading. Okay. And I'm going to add that to four or five tablespoons of cayenne, some chili powder, paprika, onion and garlic, all right? And I'm gonna give it a stir. And this is where the magic of Nashville hot chicken comes from. Watch what I'm gonna do here, okay? Keep an eye on this chicken. Wait till you see this color. And if you want heat, boy howdy, this is the type of heat Ooh, that you're gonna love. That, my, my friends, goodness. is homemade Nashville hot chicken that you don't have to pay 13, 14 bucks for, no cleanup, and I'll tell you what, a couple bucks for a basket, two cents for a toothpick. Look and you've that. now gone to your favorite barbecue place in Nashville, <gasps> without ever leaving the house. I love oh that. Oh my goodness, in <laughs> real cast iron for in the best value iron. of the entire day and a one day only price. You're not only getting the cast iron that you never have to season, you never have to reseason it. You don't have to worry about it rusting. That was my thing. Sometimes, right? last time I made fried chicken, full disclosure, in my cast iron, I didn't clean it out for a couple days, and here's why. <laughs> because you can't use detergent. You want to. You can't, but, well, yeah, I mean, it's a hassle, right? Then it rusts, and you have to reseason it. You never have to season it. You can put it in the dishwasher. We've got beautiful colors. I'm loving this cookbook as well, the Southern Cast Iron Cookbook. I know that, you can make a pie in there? Uh, oh, baking is beautiful in this, that. absolutely. Please tell me there's a good fried chicken recipe in here. <laughs> it's my favorite Oh, there sure food. is, you bet there is. Where's my dairy? Oh is. my goodness, look at this. Oh, this is a great must must get. It's only $17.95, and this will really take your cooking to the next level. If you want to take advantage of this price, today is the only day you can get it. You can only get it today for $13 and change. Go ahead and give us a call on, or go to hsn.com. You can order yours. These will make a fabulous gift because you're giving somebody a $75 value that's only costing you less than $40. You get the magnetic trivet that's so pretty. On its own, it would be $40. <laughs> And we're going to use that again in just a second here oh, as well. Look how pretty that is. Now, look what we've done here. I add a little bit of cream to our sugar, and we are making caramel in cast iron. I'm going to pull this back. I want you to see this. It literally tears away from the bottom of that pan. Can you see that? You can see the pan right underneath. That's the nonstick properties that no cast iron will give you, period. Now, watch this. With Halloween coming up, how's this for fun? Take the caramel that you've made and start building yourself a really fun, Ooh. cool caramel apple tower. As soon as you put it on there, pretty much going to glue in place and you can just stick that there and throughout the day, the kids can add to it, oh you can add to it. Gosh. And this is just the most fun ever. And look at this, follow me back to this pan. When it comes time to clean, you can soak this right in the water, put it in the dishwasher or simply scrape that out. Nothing cleans like our cast iron. And while I'm standing here, just because we have this trivet that we love to talk about, again, all wood, French design, magnetized. I'm gonna stick it right there. This comes with it, don't want any more money. <laughs> Watch this. And it's like a magic trick. I and this saw goes one of those right trivets at a very, very expensive, yes, uh, one of those did. very, very expensive home stores. I think it was, I don't like a hundred dollars or Amazing. something. Ours is going to be 40 when you can get it on its own. You cannot buy it on its own. So if you just want the trivet, go ahead and get the cast iron <laughs> skillet today, right?